Hey guys, it's uh, John T. I'm back with the new series in regards to Sims 5. Now, this is a project that has been going on for some time and it's codename Project Rene, uh, at least a couple of years away. So, um, good news for a lot of people who are fans of the Sims game. I used to play a lot of Sims 3. Uh, Sims 4, I did not really play that much. I mean, I did have it on the PS4, but, uh, you know, I could not really transition over to the console because I'm so used to playing this type of game with the mouse and the keyboard that it was really impossible for me to try and play this on the console as well but uh yeah now sims 5 is in the works and uh this is good news for a lot of people who are fans of this so electronic arts announces sims 5 during today's behind the sims summit live stream or at least not in uh, so many words uh, is still describing the next sims game as the future of the sims but it has given it a working title project renee so what I'm thinking is, or, or what I'm expecting from this is that they expand the world of the Sims a little bit into something like a sandbox like we have in GTA 5. Uh, it, it it doesn't really have to be uh, a sandbox like where you have to kill and shoot people all the time, but you know, um, a more working version of a city and then uh, try to go with that. Maybe a mix of like Sim City and the Sims, right? That's going to be a good mix but um uh, esvp of franchise creative for the sims lindsey pearson referred to project renee doing the live stream as the next generation sims game and creative platform uh before showing a glimpse of some of the editing tools and cross platform play as well so next sims game looks like it's going to be bringing back an expanded version of the creative style tool from the sims 3 i'm thrilled because uh that's basically one of the uh, features that a lot of people requested now uh, here are some snapshots of the pictures as well that they had shown so as you can see uh, it's basically uh, look at the picture you would realize is that it's just you know a sims game and uh, the detail of the graphics are not very high quality as uh, I would expect but still it's okay uh, or in its blog post about the live stream Maxis says Players will have the choice to play solo or collaborative with others and will have the ability to play uh, their game across supported devices. Now, this is a good thing. This is a good thing. Just what I was thinking about or talking about right now, that I'm used to playing Sims on uh, the PC with the mouse and keyboard. So if I have Sims on uh, PS4 or PS5 and I play on that, and then after that, I don't really... I like the gameplay or you know the method of playing on that console and then I can switch over to the other uh, platform as well that's that's going to be useful right so hopefully um, I think most of sims players are on PC anyway but there are certain good players on uh, the console as well but it's always good to make a jump on a different platform whenever you want to so the collaborative a bit is less clear. Maxis could be planning full on multiplayer of some kind. Well, I'd be hoping that one uh, wants to talk about collaboration. It should be between PC and console players as well. Like the PSN players, they could collaborate with the PC players. And PC players can do the same with the console players as well. Xbox, or PlayStation, whatever. So that's going to be fun. So over the next couple of years, we'll continue sharing updates with all of you. On Project Renee Pearson says, uh, we'll share in progress work, exploration, sneak peeks, and behind the scenes. So they're building up this story towards um, a successful launch of the game as well, which is going to be fun. So uh, the good news is that Sims 5 is a reality is going to be there. Uh, right now, the name of the game is, or the project, Project Renee, but most probably it's going to be Sims 5 or something in relation to that. But i would like to see is like a mix of sim city and sims so that's gonna be a good mix so that you can explore the city run some more things as well so that's it for now with that john tm signing out you have a nice day thank you for listening and watching